Welcome to everyone watching today. This is just a synopsis, a summary of the Bible study essentially that we did today um, on Revelation 5 and we'll go through it with a bit of meat but uh, we'll bounce through it. So I'll read the scripture now, Revelation 5 verses 1 to 14. Then I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals and I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll but no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside it I wept and wept because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or look inside then one of the elders said to me do not weep see the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw a lamb, looking as if it had been slain, standing in the centre of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all of the earth. He came and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, because you were slain, and with your blood you purchased men for God, from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels numbering thousands upon thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders in a loud voice they sang, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honour and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them singing to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honour and glory and power for ever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. That's Revelation chapter 5 verses 1 to 14 in the Bible. So as a Bible study today, we opened in prayer as we always do. We then read the passage of Revelation. And it was broken down into three themes today and I'll mention those. The scroll, Jesus Christ, the Lion and the Lamb and a new song so verse one of this passage discusses the scroll which has writing on both sides and is protected by seven seals verse two the question is asked who is worthy to break the seals and who is worthy to open the scroll verse three no one in heaven or earth could open the scroll. Verse 4 was denoted by weeping as no one is found worthy. However, that turns around in verse 5. The elders state there is one who is worthy. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David who has triumphed. And then we asked ourselves the question, who is this character? Who do we think it refers to? Verse 6 discusses a lamb looking as if slain, standing at the centre of the throne, surrounded by four creatures. And here we had a direct link to Revelation chapter 4, verses 6 to 11, which I'll read now, based on last week's Bible study. Also before the throne there was what looked like a sea of glass, clear as crystal. 
In the centre, around the throne, were four living creatures, and they were covered with eyes, in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second was like an ox, the third had a face like a man, the fourth was like a flying eagle. Each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around. Under each his wings, day and night, they never stopped saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory, honour and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives for ever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives for ever and ever. They lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. After reading that, we then asked ourselves the question, Who is this character? And have a think. And then we spoke about the song reference link, which is added into this video once you um, watch it after it's been live. The song link, The Splendour of the King, that talks about the lion and the lamb, amongst other things. Verses 7 to 10 of Revelation 5. Jesus Christ, the lion and the lamb. He took the scroll and with the four creatures and the 24 elders, each of whom had a harp and bowls full of incense. We then paused for a moment and spoke about what incense denotes in this scripture. It's the prayers of the saints. It's the prayers of the believers that have been contained and brought to the throne of God. And then we read um, verses 9 to 10, uh, which talks about singing a new song. So Revelation 5, verses 9 to 10, and I'll read now. And they sang a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, because you were slain. And with your blood you purchased men for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom of, and priests to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. Praise the Lord. Then verse 11 talks about a multitude of angels. Now in some versions it's 10,000 times 10,000 with thousands and thousands beside. So even as a rough estimate we're probably talking about um, hundreds of millions, even billions of angels um, in number actually circling uh, in praise. Uh, now, of course, that numerology in the Bible, it could just be a, a, an infinite number. It could just be such a huge number that the naked eye couldn't comprehend. But it's vast. And, of course, the figures that we're given denotes maybe upwards towards about a billion angels. Verses 12 to 13 of Revelation 5 again talks about a new song and we'll read that now. Verses 12 to 13. In a loud voice they sang, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honour and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them singing to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honour and glory and power for ever and ever. And then verse 14 states the four creatures said Amen which of course means we agree, I agree, in the heavenly. And the 24 elders fell down and worshipped. And then we spoke of how we should be worshipping. We should be worshipping God 
in everything we do, say, think in our daily lives. And then we spoke about two song references, which again will be posted above this video. The songs, Worthy, You Are Worthy, and the song, Salvation Belongs to Our God. So that was the Bible study, a summary of it uh, as it's happened today. Um, please feel free to like this video once it's posted, to comment, to share, and of course we'll also post it on YouTube. Find the channel and do follow us in everything we're doing. And if you would like us to pray for you for anything, or if you've heard something exciting tonight um, over this video, do get in touch. And if you haven't got your own version of the Bible, do ask us and we can provide one. Post one out in the United Kingdom or around the world. But uh, I uh, hope this has blessed you and we pray for you continually. God bless.